The Justice Department on Friday unveiled criminal charges against three Iranian operatives suspected of hacking former President Donald Trump's presidential campaign. The suspects are accused of accessing the email accounts of Trump campaign officials and allies of Mr. Trump. Earlier, Attorney General Merrick Garland spoke about the indictment. The defendant's own words make clear that they were attempting to undermine former President Trump's campaign in advance of the 2024 U.S. presidential election. The Justice Department is committed to countering the threat that Iran poses to our democracy, to our national security, and to our allies in the international community. CBS News national security contributor Sam Vinograd joins us now for our weekly national security wrap-up. Sam, what have we learned about this alleged Iranian hacking plot? Well, Lana, the U.S. intelligence community has warned on multiple occasions that Iran is trying to sow societal divisions here in the United States. They've also said that Iran, Russia, and China view our elections as a vulnerable moment for the country. Today's indictment against three Iranian nationals indicates that these individuals were employed by the Iran Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, and over the course of several years, they used a spear phishing campaign to target a broad range of officials, including current and former government officials, NGOs, members of the media, and campaigns. Then, this summer, the indictment alleges that these individuals accessed the Trump campaign and then shared non-public stolen informa information with members of the then Biden campaign as well as members of the media. Now, it is important to note that uh, the Department of Justice and the Harris campaign, for its part, has stressed that the Biden campaign officials in receipt of this content did not respond. Now, the indictment is unlikely to have a real effect on the three individuals that are named. They don't live in the United States. They are unlikely to travel to any country that has an extradition treaty with the U.S. But the administration's hope is that as this naming and shaming campaign will in some way deter Iran and other nation states for supporting this kind of behavior going forward. And Sam, let's talk about the conflicts in the Middle East with Israel launching these strikes in Lebanon. Uh, what are you making about these escalating tensions? Well, tensions are at a boiling point in the Middle East right now. As you mentioned, Israel on Friday launched strikes against Hezbollah headquarters in Beirut. We are waiting to hear if the head of Hezbollah has been killed in these strikes. It, also over the course of the week, Iranian proxies throughout the region escalated their attacks on Israel as well. Iranian proxies in Yemen, Lebanon, and elsewhere, even Iraq, uh, struck Israel, and Hezbollah launched attacks further into Israel than any time in history. Now, Israel launched uh, ongoing bombing campaigns as well as precision strikes in Lebanon that resulted in significant civilian casualties. The United States and other countries like France have urged Israel to engage in ceasefire negoci negotiations, but to date, that's not bearing fruit, Lana. All right, Sam Vinograd, always appreciate these chats. Thank you.